Good evening, people, and welcome to the third quarterly annual Swarovski collection update. These are the around 20 figurines this time that I've collected between uh, July and August, uh, September. Between July and September in 2023, I've been a bit inactive because I've been concentrating on our book collection. But we'll start with the ballerina. I wasn't going to collect human figurines, but then I remembered how much I loved watching ballet when I was a kid. And suddenly I have a lot of dancer figurines. Now, this is uh, the posture is lovely. And I love the detail on her dress, her tutu, but I don't like her face and I don't like her, the eyes, which are adorned by a separate crystal. She's a bit dirty. There are several fingerprints. I haven't had time to clean up her, clean her up because uh, she only arrived a couple of days ago and I've been ridiculously busy. Then we have Swarovski Crystal Society Annual Edition 2002. Dancer, Magic of Dance, Isadora, the Magic of Dance trilogy, and 2003, Magic of Dance, Antonio, and 2004, Magic of Dance, Anna. Uh, if I remember correctly, this one was supposed to represent the Russian-born ballet dancer Anna Pavlova. Antonio was Antonio Ruiz Soler, who was a Latino dancer, and Isadora was Isadora Duncan, the mother of modern dancing, they called her, if I remember correctly. And my absolute favorite is this rather recently retired ballerina with her lovely detailed tutu and her fantastic posture. I love the detail on this one. She's very graceful and I love her face too. She's a darling. I definitely don't rec rec regret buying this one. Now we have Swarovski Crystal Society Paperweight. Um, this was released the same year as the horse Esperanza and her foal. Um, I have just forgotten the year. It slipped my mind. But um, you'll find in the description all the release and dates, uh, well, release uh, year, retirement year, and the product number to help you find one for your collection if you find you have to buy something that I've shown here. This is Swarovski Secrets Apple Photo Frame. Opens up for a place for two round photos. This is a size small. There are few sizes and this is the rhodium version. Then we have two of the more obscure things. Uh, these are thimbles. Now many won't recognize these because they are they don't have actually Swarovski's uh, manufacturer's mark. Now a lot of people will tell you that you can recognize a Swarovski item with a stamp in it. And you can look for the Swarovski mark, the Swan logo or the older square S mark, but then you won't find every Swarovski figurine bearing one. The, a lot of these older figurines did not have Swarovski's logo for one reason or another. I have no idea why, but these are genuine Swarovski items. There are five different birds and I have found three different kind of bases. This is the type we call barrel base. There's also a pine cone base and a faceted base, which seems really rare. I've seen in 20 years, I've seen only a few. Um, I'll be getting five more, hopefully quite soon. And I'll be able to show you the pro packaging and product numbers better than this is the awesomeness that is Cheetah Mehir 2023 annual edition I don't like her back leg as I may have mentioned before but she is a bundle of awesome and I love her face and I love the spots 
This is what this was a present from my husband this year. Then this is the oldest version of the larger butterfly from Swarovski. This is um they changed the details on this uh, several times. This is the first version. Then in version two, they changed the black antenna tips into uh, clear, clear crystal in gold setting. And in version three, they changed the cute, cute button nose into a mask, which I actually prefer. This um, button nose looks uh, looks like it's a clown. So, but um, the product number was the same in all those versions. Then we have the Scarab Aranus from Paradise Bugs. These bugs are magnetic and can clip into these leaves or the stands. Um, you will have seen the smaller version of this in my collection before. This is the large size. And another gift from my husband was Peacock Aria, which was 2015 or 2016 annual edition um, pretty dark so it's hard to photograph or video especially because it's back there I might have put it up front if I've considered this before but um, too late now you'll find better photos of this in online and now we have the palm tree which is uh, from the secret garden group then this cat is called the tall cat because it's um, approximately a head taller than the other versions of this round, uh, round-headed straight-up cat. Uh, the American version and the reproduction cats, they, are, they reach about the chin of this cat. It's also called the large cat by some. Then we have Santa Maria, the ship, from a theme group when we were young. And this sailboat is from the same theme group. The metal stand originally came with the boat. Uh, this uh, stand was sold separately, I think, if I remember correctly. And then there's um, the ball ornament. Uh, for 2023. I don't actually collect ball ornaments, or I didn't collect the ball ornaments, but I fell in love with a candle. And I might just change my mind and buy the rest of them as well. It's a very lovely piece. Then we have 2022 3D version of the annual ornament. There's a metal ball in the middle attaching to those snowflake arms. Uh, I actually prefer the 2023 version of this 3D ornament, so I might actually, well, I'll probably buy that one as well. This is the annual ornament for 2023. Very understated. Ribbon is green this year, and the tag been changed a bit. They may be doing some countermeasures against forgeries or just an aesthetic decision. And finally I have this box. I don't have product numbers for this. I don't have release years. There's a crystal in the middle of the box. This is cardboard. Opens up to show crystal and crystal gallery. Swarovski's stamp and then there's some um, tiny little beads and crystals for crafts or jewelry making inside. Uh, I found this from a seller in Finland but they didn't have any additional information about when this was bought uh, but it was either sold or given in, at, in the Crystal Welten in Germany, uh, in Austria. Apologies in Austria. So anyway, um, I'll probably be doing my next update in early January with the 
collection, uh, the first uh, the collection walkthrough after the full collection walkthrough after the quarterly annual, the fourth quarterly annual update. There are some new releases that have been. Uh, you've probably seen Swarovski's new releases on their site. Uh, so if you haven't, go to swarovski.com and check out the wonderful figurines they have released for us, especially the Idyllia collection is to die for. Um, Macy's in America has released um, at the annual Christmas ornament, the star. It's a lovely Aurora Boreal star with a red ribbon uh, and a year tag. Uh, Macy's does not ship outside America, so if you live in USA, good for you. If you have a middleman in the USA, use them. Um, and if you don't, uh, try eBay. Uh, Dillard's, another department store in America, has released the annual, their annual Christmas bell ornament. They've been doing that for a while as well. Um, I think Dillard's would ship outside USA, uh, but um, I'm not too keen on bell ornaments and the clapper on the bell is uh, Santa's head. And it reminds me of uh, having uh, the severed head of Santa Claus inside a huge, huge glass bell. So give me, it makes make me morbid. Uh, I am being very morbid right now. So, yeah. Um, again, if you want to buy that one, you should check that out. There was um, also uh, an Asian exclusive panda. I forgot the country it was released in. It was a panda call, uh, a cartoonish panda sitting on its hindquarters. It was called Kariti, uh, C I C A R I T I, if you want to check that one out. Um, and then there's, oh, uh, yeah, Swarovski did a nasty for us international collectors, and they released an, uh, an ornament. That is only sold in the New York flagship store and it's not sold anywhere else apparently and it drives me up the wall if you live anywhere near New York New York or if you have access to someone please buy as many as you can and put them for sale online to help us international people uh, because uh, my middleman who lives in America does not live near anywhere near New York and I'm about ready to climb up the walls like a squirrel on steroids for the fear of missing out on a beautiful ornament. Um, that's a really, really nasty trick from Swarovski, but they've done that before when they do it again, and they will do it again. You can count on my word for that. So there's, um, that was another rant from a frustrated collector. Now... I might do a small update before the January uh, collection tour and quarterly annual update, but I haven't decided anything yet. Um, I might do because I'm, I'll be getting more of those American exclusive figurines. So I haven't decided anything yet, but I might see you before January or possibly not. Anyway, thanks for joining me.